As the sun finally starts to creep through, we thought what better time to run down some of the best games you can shut out the vitamin D with. First up to hit our list is SimCity for the PC and the Mac, with the Mac version coming this June. SimCity is one of gaming's most enduring franchises, going for more than two decades and entertaining millions along the way. So being that the latest instalment is the first in 10 years, it obviously has a lot of hype to fulfill. Thankfully though, it more than lives up to the challenge presented to it. The scope is just amazing. You can build sewers, organize water supplies, and even view the lives of your residents individually. The ability to zoom in close and watch your city go about its business is strangely addictive, and you'll just lose hours snooping on your busy sims. The towns are so realistic you'd swear that they were lifted directly from Google Maps, and there's definitely something compelling about making a city which looks so authentic you could imagine yourself walking its streets. SimCity is a game close to greatness, but just loses out on perfection with its annoying always online policy. Next up is Luigi's Mansion for the 3DS. Following up from the fan favourite that hit the GameCube way back in 2001, this pretty much follows the same formula that made the first so popular. Visually, Luigi's Mansion 2 is stunning. Nintendo, along with Canadian developer Next Level Games, has really pushed the hardware to create a gorgeous piece of software. The 3D effect is also nailed perfectly, bringing the cobweb-filled mansions to life in a manner which just wouldn't be possible in any other system. And then there's also the brilliant four-player online mode, which sees you and three other Luigi characters tackling the Thrill Tower in three different gameplay modes. 2013 is shaping up to be a bumper year for the 3DS, and Luigi's Mansion 2 is looking to be the crown jewel of the selection. Next, we've got Grid 2, the long-awaited sequel to the critically and commercially successful Grid. Using Codemaster's brand new True Feel handling system, it is said to deliver an accessible yet challenging controlled racing system, where you will feel the tension, adrenaline, lights, noise, and action of the race to give a true cinematic feel to any racers. And most importantly, Grid 2 will arrive with features with what they say will redefine the racing genre. We played the game a few months ago, and we can say that this is easily going to be one of the most fun, addictive, and enjoyable racing titles to hit the shelves this year. Up next is Bioshock Infinite. The first two Bioshock titles took us to the depths of the ocean, but the third has headed to the opposite direction, and in doing so has created one of the best titles we've played in years. Taking place in the floating city of Columbia, suspended miles above the USA, creates some impressive visuals, as well as the usual twists and turns in its captivating storyline, which includes the character of Elizabeth, an attractive yet troubled individual who is at your side for almost the entire duration of the game. Bioshock Infinite plays as well as it looks. The tight combat from its predecessors is maintained and contains some truly formidable opponents, some of which are so terrifying they make the big daddies from the first two games look like harmless poodles. If you haven't picked up the game yet, you really are missing out. And lastly, the game that has got us as excited as we possibly can get before the PS4 and the new Xbox graces us with their presence is The Last of Us. Ever since they first announced the game's existence, we knew this was going to be something special. And even though the game isn't out until the beginning of June, we're pretty much certain this is going to be one of the finest games that has graced the PS3, and a perfect one to end this generation of consoles. Taking place in a world where a pandemic has radically changed all of civilization, and now 20 years on in the game, infected humans run wild and survivors are killing each other for food, weapons, or whatever they can get their hands on. You play as Joel, a ruthless survivor who is hired to smuggle a 14-year-old girl, Ellie, out of an oppressive military quarantine zone. But what starts as a simple job soon transforms into a profound journey across the US. Simply put, if you own a PS3, you have to buy this. After all we've been through, everything that I've done, 